to stop the spread, NYC. Get vaccinated and boosted. Get tested. Mask up and stay home if you are feeling sick. For a vaccination site, visit nyc.gov slash COVID vaccine. You're tuned in. What's going on? Random live stream. We're going to be training... Legs and a little bit of chest today, guys. What up, Gio? Benny? Big abs. What's good, fellas? It's random. Just warming up, guys. You guys know it's typical warm up for the legs. The stability holds, single leg, really opening up, bringing the pelvis up on the one leg that's rotating up and stabilizing on the leg that's grounded. My bad, my head's a mess, just got to cut. Just came straight out the barber right now. This is just going to be raw, unedited, obviously, live training. I'll do a little bit of talking, but I pre predominantly want to work through this session as if I was training freely, right by myself. So. Last leg session, we hit volume. We were doing sets at eight at 260. So today we're gonna work uh, higher uh, higher intensity, lower volume. So we're gonna be going for singles. We're gonna do a five, three, one method today. So these first two sets are just warm ups. The first set you saw was a warm up, and we're still warming up. Fibers. Yo, see, you already know. Yo, Cold Treasure Man, thank you. Me and Good Money both appreciate the support. probably 275 and then go for around 310 3 plus each set and yo go check out the upload on that's good money channel he just put it up today just last week we filmed the 10 minute challenge 200 reps 100 pulls, 100 push in 10 minutes or less. You guys go watch it, see if I completed it. 
Again, but it had to be 100 pulls straight, then 100 pushes. So typically you guys know the five minute drill where it's 50 pulls, 100 push. So hitting that 100 pull definitely brings a whole other element of intensity to it and difficulty. So check that out. The music right now, guys, I just threw on YouTube free music through SoundCloud. So this is all hopefully not getting copyrighted. We shall find out. First working set, 235, 235 pounds, five reps. We're gonna keep going up until we get to singles. body fat right now just about 165 pounds every morning going to bed around 166 167 so putting on a nice amount of size right now while staying still maintaining a little bit of leanness but once I see 14% on the body on the scale and I start losing definition of the abs I'll probably stay at maintenance right there and then I'll start cutting I usually start my cut April 1st so April 1st we'll start reducing the calories down Go this summer and get down to 10%. Definitely, guys, if you guys are looking to get a stronger squat, rack squats that, yo, old dog, 100, 100, 100 was tough. Definitely a whole new level.
275, three reps, it's the second working set. We're gonna go up to our max weight, probably gonna hit 310 for singles right now. So, I'm gonna add some weight right now. Taking the tens off. Putting back on the twenty five. So we got two thirty five, two thirty five plus fifty, that's three oh five. We're going to add the two and a half. Now the goal is to get 310 for three sets of one. So right now, 310 is my one rep max from the last time, but I've only hit it for one set. So the goal today is to get three sets of one. Definitely a tough rep, but I pretty much moved it pretty smoothly. Try to, I may always try to make sure I get to depth and feel where I'm stopping. I'm not trying to pause for like one second. I'm trying to feel the end range of motion and feel myself press down into the floor to get myself back up. So we're gonna rest now. A good two, three minutes. Two more sets of one. Guys, got any questions? Let me know. Yo, CBL, appreciate you, brother. Ivanez, what up? You already know. And like always, guys, we got essential aminos, creatine, glutamine, the mat zymes, by bio optimizers, and uh, some sodium, magnesium, potassium, electrolytes. Oh, God. 
guys, if you watch every set, I'm very, very big on setting up properly, right? I protract first, rounding my scapula, right? Then I lock everything in, engaging the whole posterior chain. Then I'm under the bar, right? So once I, from protraction to locking out everything, once I go under, that whole posterior chain is extremely sturdy, right? You want, you want to own that weight. You don't want any breaks in the posterior chain. You don't want to feel any pain in the low back. Let me know how the form was, guys. This playlist is good. Thank you, old dog. Appreciate it. And it's funny, too, because if you guys look, right now, in my opinion, when I see myself at high body fat percent levels, even though I'm still around 13 and a half, I look smaller, right? If I'm down to 12% low 13s, I look bigger. Why? Because you have more muscle definition shown, right? That's the that's the one thing people always tend to mix up, right? You can never fill out body fat with more muscle, right? You have to always lose the fat. So I can never just fill out this body fat with more muscle. That's impossible. So that's another. Just remember, guys. Higher body fat percentages usually look smaller and less defined than you would obviously at a leaner body fat percentage. Hard body, that's 310 on the bar, 310. Yo, A informed, it's 1225 p.m. sets off the rack and watch you guys want to learn how you go strong powerful legs watch 310 hard body PRs right here I hit it only one time before this for one set of one so today three sets of one progress you already know all right guys let's get it See that said, I went for a little bit of a pause at the bottom, really trying to feel that weight, push down on the floor to get up, now we do a back off set. So remember guys, it's 310 on the bar. Back down to 235. All right, we got 235 on the bar. We got 235 on the bar. Watch. One more drop, guys. So I'll just three off the rack to 235. Going 185.
Good guys. Triple drop set, or double drop set. Went from 310, 235, 185, the last two off the rack. And I'm telling you, coming off the rack from that dead stop is your body just literally lifting the weight from a dead stop position. You're, all you're doing is firing up all those type 2 fibers that are already fatigued from the previous sets. So you guys want to get strong legs, try those rack squats out. Yo, this, this home setup and formed, I bought this rack used. It's like a $1,200 rack. I paid $700 for it. I had the bar. The weights I just acquired over time. So I would say probably total for everything in here, about maybe $1,000, $1,200 for everything in my room. I got other bars too. Yo, thank you, hard body, bro. We're training out here. A beginner to squat 300. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where you're starting from and how strong you are, but you gotta give yourself a good year minimum, right guys? So, again, my bad, I just came out the barbershop, straight to the crib with a hat on, so, ignore the fucking hair right now. It's all messed up. Yo, Andrew, bro, I should've been outside today. It's got nice out in New York. Yeah, Harvey, I do post squats often. guys. <laughs> Stiff legs. Seventy-five pound dumbbells too. So one thirty-five, 
Eight reps each leg, 75 pound stiff leg, 10 reps. Only two sets of this routine right here. Yo, Free Dog, man, I appreciate you. Big up, see you in Germany. Akira, everything's, no, everything's going well. Hope the same with yourself. Yeah, man, one day I hope to get to Germany too, Free Dog. So, hard body. Weighted lunges, to be honest, I recommend doing them dumbbells at your side, right? I just recently started doing them with a barbell on my back, just for the weight, just for more load, right? So, typically, practice them with two dumbbells, and when you get to the barbell, always make sure you're always sucking in and squeezing the glutes in, right? So you wanna make sure you have no posterior chain tilt, right? I mean, no anterior tilt. Airbus, man, thank you for tuning in. If you hear a crackling sound in your shoulder before a lot of pain while lifting, I mean, DD, man, honestly, that doesn't sound good. I crack all the time, but I don't crack through pain, right? I crack just because sometimes my muscles are tight. I mean, sometimes my joints are just tight like that. So if you're cracking and you feel like something in one motion and there's pain, it could be a sign that you tore something. Yeah, Feld, man, I used to be, it's slow progressions. You don't want to go fast, you, you don't want it to go up and way too fast. You want to handle load that you can. And the best thing that you can do for your knees with squats to make your knees stronger is isometric holds at 90 degrees. 90 degree isometric holds with a load that you can handle for 10 second holds, right? That's going to teach your body and your knees to stay straight at the bottom part of the, of the squat because that's what, with heavy load, where most people are gonna fail is when they go down and hit that depth, their knees are gonna collapse in when they try to press up. You wanna get really strong at holding at 90 and being able to press that at 90. And again, gradual jumps in weight, five, 10 pounds maximum each week. Look, for instance, I, my max load was 310 the last time I trained. I didn't even attempt 315 today, but I just went for more total sets at 310 pounds. I'm not, I don't, I'm not one to jump in weight too fast, right? I always want to make sure I master and control one week before I even try touching a heavier load. Alright, let's go. Second round. Tough set right there, guys. Hey, big ups to whoever super donated, man. I appreciate you. Hard body, you're the man, brother. Let's go. Stiff leg. 
Tough set right there, guys. So, what I've been doing lately with heads is I train them all the time on, on my leg day. But I try to just throw wings, I always got this rack set up. Just randomly throughout my days sometimes, I'll just come in and I'll just hit whatever loads on the bar for one set of max reps, right? So I'm typically, when I'm training calves on a leg day, I'll go for 100 reps as fast as possible with any weight I feel like doing it with. So last time we did 185, and we we're doing three sets of 30 and then one set of 10. So today, I'm only gonna hit one set, 135, and then for max reps on one set today. We're going right into it. All right, that was 50, clip 135, that's a wrap for legs, guys. So, we're gonna jump into a little bit of chest work. Again, I hit every month, this is my second hit time hitting chest this week. Today's Wednesday, we hit chest on Sunday as well. So, remember guys, every three days, you wanna hit a muscle group. How about it? Yeah, bro, I told you I gained a few pounds, so I'm definitely putting on muscle 100%. So when I do shred, I'm gonna be even bigger, man. I appreciate you. So hey, Jesus, I'm almost, I'm around high 13s, like 13.6% percent body fat right now. Yo, Carlos, 100%, man. If you're not cooking, if you're using like vegetable oils, like corn, Canola, they're known to cause inflammation in the body. Switching over to extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, grass-fed butter is gonna have a big difference with inflammation throughout the body, 100%. Yo, Free Dog, man. I haven't smoked a blunt, well, smoked a blunt once a week now. I'm on joints only, brother. Tomorrow, ring session in the park, guys. Strength work. Go live for it, or should I make a video? Let me know. I need a bigger 
gym space. It's too tight in here sometimes. Big gym studio. One day soon. We're working towards it. Hey, Sue, man, I'm not even that lean right now, bro. Yo, I've been on. I've been sub ten. It's been a while. But this summer, I'm gonna try to get down to 10%, right? So you can see, you still see some abs when I flex, still see the serratus, the obliques. But where I hold it, where I start gaining it, is the love handles, right? That's where I pick up the fat, that's where my body stores it. So, again, I just said, should I do a live ring session tomorrow? Let me know. Let's go healthy, let's get it, let's make it happen. Tricep extension, warm up, warm up the elbows. All right, guys. Let me tilt the camera down a bit. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do a warm up set. Flat bench press, dumbbells. single arm presses and then we're going to get into the working sets.
Now there's a warm up to the pressing muscles. We're actually going to go to an incline press. We're going to go up to 75 stays. DD, you already know. So we jump into 75 pound incline dumbbell press. I want, if I hit more than 12 easy on set one, probably hit one set only. If I get 12 nice, then I go three to 12. But if 12 feeling easy, I'm gonna rep it out and go for one nice set to set. So set one is gonna determine where we're at right now. All reps. So I could have probably forced out two more, but it would have been a little tough. And 14 was the number I wanted to hit if I was going max effort. I like to go 15. So we need two more sets, 12 reps on the incline. And we do a little more pressing. And generally, lately, all I've been doing is one pressing with weights, and then I go to more calisthenics, right? So remember, I always like to. Start with minimal volume, regardless, because volume is very easy to always increase. Everybody always wants to do so much right away. That leaves very little room for improvement and progressive overload. You can get strong and extremely good results doing minimal work first, and then once you start seeing, all right, I feel like I'm not doing enough anymore, I'm hitting a plateau, it's very easy to add work in, right? But now, a lot of people want to just throw 10 sets or five different exercises for their chest in. Four sets each exercise, that's 20 sets for chest in one day. And they wonder why it's sore for four or five days afterwards. That's not good, you're breaking down too much muscle, right? You're not stimulating any growth. You're just elevating cortisol levels, ripping down your chest. When each section, you can break that up two, three times a week, and you can do 25 sets in three, to, in a three, they split, right? So seven sets, day one. Seven sets, two days later. Seven sets, two days later. Seven sets, two, three days later. You understand what I'm saying? Split the volume up. You're gonna get more quality sets each session as opposed to when you're on those fourth, fifth exercises, you can't do any more pressing. You gotta go to isolations. You're never gonna get that same stimulus and benefit that you would if you're fresh for each exercise. Yo, healthy man, rusty dumbbells, I think they just weigh more. You get extra weight on them.
the second set. Only put 10 reps that set. We go one more set, then do a drop set. Mind you, I probably burned through a lot of glycogen stores with the leg training, especially when we went to the superset of lunges to stiff legs. So, could be a little depleted in general. So, let's see how set three goes. What I might even do on this third set, instead of repping it out, I might one lockout and I might do one 10 second control negative down, pause, one rep up, and then drop the low down to 55 pounds and try to hit 55 for a rep. So I think that's what we're going to work on right now. Just going to keep that time on the tension high, one rep, max effort on an eccentric. And then wrap out at 55. Monster spill. Quick, the fire pick up. Bounce. I don't want to be too sore for tomorrow. I want to hit a nice ring session. Primarily posterior chain work. A lot of pulling work in general. Just come up, I'm filming. Alright, let's get it.
Get a bonus rip on that set. All right, we're dropping to 55. Wow, this feel like water. Let's go. Come on. See, I'm only caught six with that 55. Ah, I'm telling you, the burn in the chest is real right now. That negative was definitely, definitely very intense rep. And I pushed out that one other rep almost to fatigue. You guys see the chest is extremely pumped right now. Free dog. If I do a lot, it's going to be tomorrow. Probably 12.30 p.m. It'll be a rain session in the park. So stay tuned. 12.30 p.m. But if I do do it tomorrow, I will let you guys know ahead of time. I'll put a post up on Insta on YouTube. Just a regular post. Letting you know the time and everything. I can either do 130 I can either do 230 or 430 Drop back down to 55s again. I'm going to do some flat work. Just again, like I said, I'm going to increase the volume of pressing that I'm doing right now. We're just going to hit two sets of flat bench, then we're going to move on, ring pushes, it's going to be a wrap for the routine today guys. So, one more set of pressing, some ring press, ring push ups for that, and that's full legs, and a chest workout for me guys. For sure free dog, I hope you can tune in.
Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm live right now. Look, I got to clean some crap in here. Alright, film me. Yeah, Scrappy, go in the hole. Go get cleaned. Go get cleaned. Scrap's back. Pops is, is dropping him off. Everything's good over here, Kira. Hope over there, too. Drink up, Scrap. Hey, Scrap, say hello. Hey, YouTube. There's my pops. All right, one more set, single arm presses. So the benefit of those single arms is gonna work stability in the posterior chain as well. Because the arm that's staying locked out, it's the posterior chain, it's the scapula, the rhomboids, the traps, the shoulder, all that is stabilizing that arm to stay locked out, right? Very good for working imbalances too, if you guys have an imbalance in your muscles. And you go, if you guys watch summertime videos when I was down in the garage, benching, my bench was totally off uneven because of the elbow injury. That's why I've been yeah. focusing so much on dumbbell work now to work through that imbalance. And in turn, my bench actually got better because now it's more secure. Especially because I've been doing the rack pressing, all that has helped help a ton. So let's go. Second set. Subscribe. Biggie's coming now at 2.30 instead of 3, instead of 4.30. So I have 2.30 and 3.30. Heard me? No. I you No, I said Biggie's coming at 2.30 instead of 4.30. So I have 2.30 and 3.30. Well, that's good. You end up early. Okay, you want me to stay a little bit? No, I got to, I mean, you can hang out for like a couple minutes and I'm done. Yeah, and I got to stay, stay till you're done. Yeah, I'll be done in five minutes. Well, let me smoke the rest of this thing here. Let's go. Right. I got a piece of the fears. Let the whole world know. Oh, my God. Uh, get that thing. So, you got the ring set up. I'm going to go two sets. Max reps, that's gonna be a wrap. Drop them, make the next set a little harder. Oh. 
One more set, guys. Again, I appreciate everyone who tuned in. Paul Bada, thank you for the super chat donation. Anybody else, you know, it's wide open. Appreciate all the donations. Appreciate everyone's support just for tuning in. If you got any questions, but I didn't get to them, leave them in the comment section. I told you, hopefully tomorrow we'll go live again with a ring session in the, in the park. It's supposed to be nice out here in New York. Ah, woo. All right, 10 more reps, guys. So, 63, been live for just about, oh, 65 minutes. A little over an hour, guys. Told you, I trained shoulders and back together, legs and chest. If you watched the last video I just posted yesterday, it was full shoulder and back, body weight only. Training really focusing on building an aesthetic upper body, focusing on the 3D delts, the wide back. So watch that video, and again, now today, today we're on uh, legs and chest. Tomorrow, posterior work, get some uh, back activation. Actually, I did the workout two days ago. I just put the workout up yesterday. So I trained Monday. I was off Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. So it was Monday was shoulders and back. Tuesday was a rest day. Today I'm training shoulders and uh, chest and legs again. And then tomorrow, that's why I'm going to be fresh for back again, right? So I'll have three days between... The back session, I train back Monday, off Tuesday, chest and legs today, Thursday, third day, and the third day later, ready to hit back again hard. That's how you scale the volume, and that's how you can always keep the intensity high each session. So I hope you guys enjoy this routine. I'm like, oh, look, I did three total exercises for the legs, right? Squats, lunges, <coughs> stiff leg deadlifts, oh, and calves, right? So four total workouts for my leg because I'm focusing on training the entire leg. But only two sets of cat, only one set of cat work, two set of lunges and and uh, stiff legs, and then for chest it was just incline dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, and push ups. Hitting chest again, probably Friday or Saturday. I'll probably end up training tomorrow, like I said, which is gonna be Thursday. I'll probably take off Friday, and then I'll be ready to train again on Saturday. So hope you guys enjoy this routine. Like I said, any questions? Leave them in the comments section. I'll get back to you. Like the video. It really helps the algorithms out. Share it. Share it with your friends, your family. And like always, guys, peace out. Bar Nationals. Yo, Pelican push-ups are really good. Like, really good. And Red Shark, man. It depends on the injuries. Leave it in the comments section. Let me know what's bothering you. I'll get back to you.